-hmm. Get into it. Okay. Get it. Get get into. Get into it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get into it. <laughs> y'all what is up so right now we are on our last lock i wanted to save this last lock just to show y'all how i installed these i forgot the name of the the ladies video i followed but this method i like truly recommend i feel like anybody can do it um it's really easy um it just depends on how quick you wrap these it depends on how you know quick it or how long it takes for you to do it but i'm gonna quit rambling and i'm gonna just show y'all so first what we're gonna do this is marley hair um not marley okay this is cuban twist let me show let me try to show you how to package it but it should look like this with the ladies and stuff but this is cuban twist i got the 30 inch no, I got 24 inch. I see the 30 inch system, but yeah. So I got the 24 inch. So what you're gonna do with this, you're gonna take this hair. I use the rubber bands because I cannot part. I ain't got no type of grip or nothing. So that was just the best thing for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this hair and we're gonna braid it around the rubber band and with my hair and we're just gonna braid it in like a normal braid so boom there goes our braid cool so now you're going to need a crochet tool. So with this crochet tool, I also, you're going to need another hair, another type of hair. I also got Water Wave. This is how it should look. Um, 22 inch. I got the color one. Color one for the both of them because my hair is just super dark. So that's, yeah, what I got. But Water Wave, 22 inch, okay? So one strand is how she, what she recommended. So just take one strand of this water wave. Um, it's gonna be, you're gonna see, but it's gonna be grouped up like this. You could literally see like just the strands, how they just separate naturally. So just take one of them that come out naturally. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to separate it a bit to give you know the locks this distressed look that they're giving her so then we're going to hook it like this in your hand hook it like that so leave it all long and stuff but leave that hanging piece all right so then we're going to take the crochet hook Put it through this section right here. Make sure this is good. Put this in a hook. Make sure that side's over there, okay? So now that that side is over there, bring some back so you're not wasting too much hair. And then we're just gonna wrap. Wrap the top a bit, wrap it a few times, just to make sure it's on there. Okay, that's good. So now I'll just start moving down. And so throughout her tutorial, 
she had, you know, a method where she would use her thumb to get that distressed look, you know, where these little areas um, coming out. For me, I didn't really have to do that because, like, I think because it's my first time, it just came out messy like that. So, yeah, um, I didn't really have to do that this time. But that's how she would recommend getting that distress look is by basically putting your thumb in between the wrapping. Let me see if I can do it. Putting your thumb in between the wrapping, wrapping it, taking your thumb out. Okay, see, I couldn't do it, but that's basically, you would just put your thumb in between the wrapping, wrap it again, take your thumb out, and it should leave, like, basically a little loop-looking part, you know? So, I'm glad this is running out so I can show y'all just how to add that, because you're going to need more hair. Okay, so... Get a second piece of hair, do exactly what you did with the first one. We're going to take the end how we had it. Take that small piece. Make sure you group it with the hair like she demonstrated. And... And I'm saying like how she demonstrated and what she recommended and stuff. I would really recommend y'all watch her video because it's a very easy. But I hope just watching from here you get how easy this method is. And literally I know now how to do locks on myself. And I'm literally just going to wear these. Like, boy, what? I love these things when I got them. So, yeah. And also to get the distressed look, I'm not, you know, doing it too tight. I'm literally just flipping it around, letting it just go. And so that adds to that distressed look. so glad I had enough of hair because I was worried about that. I was like, I have to just style alone, just uses a lot of hair. So I'm glad that I don't have to worry about this tomorrow because when I tell you, it's 7 in the morning. I got plans today. So let's sleep. Mm -hmm. Let's sleep. But I was bull mess at all today because I'm doing my hair. But no. I had other stuff to do. Not really, but I did, you know? <laughs> about to end it um no we could end it right there so we're about to end it so what we're gonna do is just gonna bring this little part twist it back up go back up the lock grab any flyaways if you need to um when i grab any flyaways and wrap them around too it just makes me feel like it's extra secure or whatever but also we're going to rub it. I made the mistake when I first started of cutting it before I rubbed it, but make sure you rub it before you cut it. Probably didn't have to rub it that many times. Just make it sure. Okay, and then we are going for my scissors. We are going to cut it, cut, and that is it, you guys. So, 
these are the locks that I achieved from that tutorial my head is a little sore but these are very cute I did them myself very proud um yeah yeah let me go the other way I prefer the other side yeah okay so I'm gonna come back on here just to show y'all and talk about it but yeah that's it I'm finna give me some rest before I gotta do what I gotta do today I'll see y'all later <laughs> peace <laughs> Alright you guys, so this is the second day of these locks. And so I just wanted to give y'all a little recap but just basically um like everything I got and all of that and just how I did them basically. So um when I went to the beauty store, I got three packs of the Cuban Twist 24 inch hair. I got three packs of that and then um I got seven packs of the Water Wave 22 inch. So, yeah, seven packs of the Water Wave 22 inch, okay? And then, so these, it was enough for these. You could see how big, like, how big my parts are. So, I don't really have that many locks up in my hair, but it looks full enough to me. But, yeah, so mine are fairly big, and that was enough. So, if you make them smaller, I would suggest getting more bags. Um, and, yeah, that was about it. Um, I used regular edge control. Um, I did use rubber bands because I can't really grip at the, at the, what is it, at the root. <laughs> I can't really grip at the root, so those that's what those rubber bands are for i crochet you've seen everything but that is basically how i did these you guys i didn't even think i'll be able to do these so it's real cool to know that i can now and also it was like really easy it was very easy especially like once you get the hang of it it got really easy so i hope you guys can achieve this look it is very nice i'm gonna be doing this on a regular because i love the way these locks look on me i love this distressed look i love that curls are coming out and stuff it's very i love it okay it's very natural you know i just i just love it okay so yes this is gonna be a little go-to style you're gonna see me in it often now that i know that i can do these but i hope you guys are having a great night day wherever you're at i pray for your protection i pray love your way i pray guidance your way i pray safety your way and um yeah just have a good night good day whatever wherever you're at love you peace out see you later yeah <laughs>